live people okay there we are now this should go live so how do i get this onto facebook well we're all there um oh, shall i mute on. people yeah as i try and work out how do we get onto facebook Good morning. Hoping all are well. Welcome to um, welcome to those of us who are on Zoom. Welcome to anyone who may be looking on on live stream as well, or a little bit later via video on Facebook. I hope this finds you well. Um, today is obviously the of October, tomorrow is the 5th. Um, now, the we're always told to remember, remember the 5th of November. For us as a church, we have a further reason to remember the 5th of November because it is our church patronal festival day. It's the day when the church remembers the life and work of St. Elizabeth, of whom we are, um, our church is named after. Um, and so today it really is the, the nearest day, clearly, to the 5th. So we have a little bit of a patronal theme that runs through this morning. There'll be a special prayer involved uh, in that, which is wonderful. And I'll say something a little bit later on about the talk that accompanies this church service as well. Anyway, we're all here, um, socially distanced, as will again become the new norm as we re-enter lockdown um, tomorrow but that aside we still worship so um, should we move to our liturgy and as that uh, begins to get shown on the screen so just keep a moment or two silence However we are able to meet together this morning, we meet in the name of God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit, God is one. And so we open our hearts to God afresh as we pray together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. And as we gather together, we say sorry to God for those things we have knowingly done wrong. Again, we pray. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbour as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. And so we can be assured Almighty God, who forgives all, who truly repent, have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So our reading this morning from the Bible. Sally's going to read that to us. Good. Right. This is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter uh, 1, and it's verses 39 to 45. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea, where she entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby in her womb leapt for joy, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, blessed are you among women and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that what the Lord has said to her will be accomplished. 
This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, O Lord. Thank you. There is a, a short reflection on the YouTube channel this morning, and actually just picking up on, the, I mean, for us as St. Elizabeth, we've heard that story, the stories of St. Elizabeth many, many times, but maybe there is something important to learn from her message this year as we do enter lockdown. Elizabeth was a lady who had to hold on to hope. She, you know, in, in older age, she had to hope that the Lord would uh, kind of carry her through the difficulty of her childlessness. And I think, I wonder, I think we can draw something from Elizabeth's character of her fortitude, of her determination, just to keep going with, Christ, with God um, at, at that time. And I think there was a, something for us to draw from that um, as we sadly have to re-enter lockdown. Um, so if you want to follow that reading, uh, so that talk on the YouTube channel, please do. Um, I'm just going to say a very short prayer, a, a collect, which just picks up on that theme of us and our church celebrating its patronal festival. Almighty God, to whose glory we celebrate the dedication of our house of prayer to St. Elizabeth. We praise you for the many blessings you have given to those who worship you there, and we pray that all who seek you in that place may find you, and being filled with the Holy Spirit may become a living temple acceptable to you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so as we, as a church, dispersed at this present time, we gather with fellow believers across the world to proclaim afresh what we believe. That we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And so let us pray. Verena is going to lead us in our prayers this morning. Dear Lord, this morning we give thanks for Elizabeth, our patron saint, when we rejoiced that in your name she did many acts of kindness. Please guide us in the things we will say and do today. Give us also the wisdom to recognize what things are important and what things are not. Show us what to do with the time and talents you have given us. So give us faith, give us hope, and help us to trust in your guidance all the days of our lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. We pray for the church and its ministry to the world, and also for those who bring the light of your word to all. Dear Lord, we ask you to bless them as they work in your service. We pray for all clergy in our diocese, that they may be leaders of vision and teachers of your truth. 
So please help everyone to catch the vision of what you want to do in their lives and relationships. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear Lord, we pray for the nations of our troubled world and their leaders, that they may strive for justice and peace. Please inspire them. Take the oppressed and free them. Take the past and redeem it, the present and fill it and the future to guide us in it. Bless especially all organizations which strive to make this world a better place to live in. Food Bank, People Matter, Mission Aviation Fellowship, CMS, and also the Mother's Union, so that we may live in harmony with all our neighbors and seek the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for all who minister in our church, especially David, our vicar. Bless our community, families, friends, and neighbors. So thank you for worship and prayer, for praising, for fellowship and friendship. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for giving healing and inner peace to all who are ill in body, mind, or spirit. We pray for the hungry and homeless, the dying and bereaved. We also remember those who live alone in care or rest homes or are in hospital, especially as we go into lockdown again. May they be helped by caring friends. And we must not forget to pray for those who have gone before us in faith and are now at peace in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, dear Lord, please lead us to grow in faith and make such difference in the lives of each one of us that others may see that we walk with you always. We ask this in your name. Amen. Thank you, Verena. So I'm going to just share a socially distance sign of peace. That peace being Christ's peace, which the world cannot give, but which truly we are so in need of at this time an introductory sentence we are the body of christ in the one spirit we were all baptized into one body let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life the peace of the lord be always with you and, and also, also with you, with you. So with you. share one another a sign of christ's peace peace everybody peace peace um, peace to anyone looking on on live stream and maybe looking on a little bit later on Facebook as well. Peace be with you. So however you are able this morning, we gather to celebrate communion. So we recognise afresh, the Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love, you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ you shared our life, that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all a perfect sacrifice for sin. The night he was betrayed at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. 
His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ, our risen Lord. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven, saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. So we can pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So however you are able, draw near with faith, receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. the body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. So a closing prayer of blessing. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. Well, in a second or two, we will say farewell to those um, on, on, on live stream and the YouTube channel. Um, I will send out my usual email to those um, who are on my email list to give you details of Sunday morning, which will be via, via Zoom. It will have the Zoom number on it. It is Remembrance Sunday, and we will have, uh, during the service, an act of remembrance as well. So until we meet again on Sunday morning, we say farewell to those on live stream and YouTube channel. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.